This tutorial will show you how to use QR codes with Quizlet. I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this example. If you're using a different web browser, the overall process will be the same, but the buttons may be a little bit different. First of all, you open up Google Chrome and you'll want to navigate to Quizlet. Once you get to Quizlet, go ahead and sign in with your username and password and that should bring you to this screen which will show you all of the sets that you have. Next you'll want to choose the set that you want to create the test from. Once your set is open, click on test. Here you can choose what kind of test you want. In this example, I'm going to show you how to make something like a pre-assessment test for the students. So for my pre-assessment, I only want to have matching because I think that's the easiest. And because I'm printing it out on the school's printer, I don't want it to show the images. I can now click Create New Test. Now I have a test that only has matching and has no images. In order to get it to be printed out and to have the QR code on it that we are going to create, I'm going to click Print Test. Rather than printing it to my school printer, I'm going to save it as a PDF. You can save it as a PDF by clicking on the Change button and choosing that icon from here. If you're not using Google Chrome, this may look a little bit different, but just know that you can change your printer to the Save as PDF option. Once you have selected that option, click Save and save it to your desktop where you'll be able to find it. You can now see that my test is saved over on my desktop. Now it's time to create the QR code. The first thing we want to do is go back to our Quizlet. The way set the that air is outside. Create. Sorry about that. Is go back to our Quizlet set that we created, and you're going to want to click Share as if you're going to share it with your students. Here you're going to want to go to the URL code. That is the URL that will take you directly to this study set. You can click on it and then copy it. And then exit out. We're now going to use a QR code generator. If you're using Google Chrome, open a new tab and go to your app store. If you don't already have a QR code generator, you can click on the web store and search the store for one. At that point, go ahead and choose any of the free ones that you would like to use. As you can see, I already have one that I use and it's just called the QR code generator. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose URL from this object line. Once I have URL selected, I'm just going to paste in the address that I got from Quizlet and say save. I can now say that this is my space and weather QR code and I'm going to save it as a ping. Again, if you're using Google Chrome, it will save down here once it's downloaded so you can click on that and it should automatically open in preview if you're on an Apple computer. Once it's open in, in preview, just click on file export and then save it to your desktop. Here you can see it appeared on my desktop. We're now done with the internet and with preview so you can exit out and now it's time to get the QR code onto the test we'll be giving students. So you can open up your PDF that you created using Adobe Reader. Once you have Adobe Reader opened up, we have to find a way to insert our QR code. Using Adobe Reader, there's not a way to just insert an image, so we're going to have to pretend as though the QR code were our signature. So we're actually going to open up the File and Sign option. From there, we're going to click Place Signature. If you have never created one before, it will probably say Add or Create Signature, but go ahead and click on it. Um, mine I've used before, so I'm actually going to say, say change save signature. Yours will probably say something a little different, but you're going to want to get to this screen where you can choose use an image. 
Once you get to use an image, click Browse and find your QR code. You can then click Select and Accept. Your cursor now becomes the QR code, so choose where you would like it on your document and click. You can go ahead and resize this if you'd like the QR code to be a little bit bigger and visible to students. Your paper is now ready. You can print it from this screen or save it to print later. How this will work is, for instance, if this were a pre-assessment, I would give it to my students in class, have them take the assessment, and grade it. They'll then know which um, answers they got wrong and which ones they need more work on. When they take it home, they can use the QR code to get to the Quizlet set to study for the real exam. They can use a smartphone or any tablet, basically anything that allows you to download apps and has a camera on it can be used for a QR code. At the App Store, whether you're on an iPhone or whether you're on an Android device, you can just go in and search for QR code. There are a bunch of different readers that are free. The students then just scan the QR code and they're taken directly to their Quizlet set. If you have any questions on this or would like me to walk through it with you in person, just let me know.